Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here yet again with another very interesting video for you guys today. You know, I think that it's pretty safe to say that this particular story that I want to share with you guys probably won't surprise you at all, especially when it comes to Christian conservatives in regards to them thinking that they can basically tell a woman what she can and cannot do with her own personal health, you know? I think that these conservatives really don't want a woman to have any kind of a choice at all in any way, shape, or form, you know. This has happened for a long time now, and I'm not really s surprised when it comes to this particular behavior. However, there's this particular article that I wanted to share with you guys because I think that it does an excellent job in regards to highlighting the stupidity of these Christian conservatives, you know. It's something that I felt compelled to share with you guys, so I'm going to read a part of this article to you. Anti-abortion groups in Washington, D.C. have vowed to defy an ordinance that prohibits organizations from discriminating against women based on their reproductive health choices. On May 2nd, the Reproductive Health Non-Discrimination Amendment Act of 2014, RHNDA, went into effect in Washington, D.C., making it illegal for employers in the nation's capital to fire people for using birth control. The House of Representatives had voted to overturn the democratically enacted city law on April 30th, but without approval from the Senate and the President, the so-called Hobby Lobby on steroids bill isn't going anywhere, and thankfully so. You know, this is something that I'm really happy about. However, like this article states, these particular conservatives, these Christian conservatives, are going to defy this new law anyway. They're basically wanting to fire women regardless. You know, If they find that these women are using birth control, they're just going to defy this law and they're going to fire these women anyway. They don't really care about the laws in the nation. They really don't care about anything when it comes to their religious beliefs. It's something that has always been there, you know, but this type of behavior is really getting old, you know. They think that women should basically remain under their boots, you know, that they shouldn't be allowed to make any type of choice. And this is something that I really detest to no end. It makes me sick to think that people like this in Washington actually exist. They should mind their own damn business. They should not have any room in any way, shape, or form to tell a woman what she can and cannot do with her own body. I've talked about this many times in videos before. But it seems to me that these Christians are not really getting any kind of a message. You know, it seems to me that they're deaf and mute, basically. They don't understand what law is. They don't actually understand how law works in society. They just want to impose their religious beliefs on everybody else, you know. And it's disgusting. And this is a prime example of that. They want to break the law, they don't really care about the law, and they want to still fire these women for using birth control. It's disgusting, it really is. And it's unfair to these women. You know, these women do not deserve to be placed in this type of situation. They never have deserved it. But these religious people don't care. You know, they are a bunch of bigots and they are a bunch of idiots. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I would really be interested on seeing what you guys have to say about this particular situation that is going down in Washington, you know, because these people are really ignorant on issues regarding women, and it's something that needs to stop. So feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, or wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, The Quiet Atheist is out, and remember, if you can be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I will see you next video. Also, remember, my social networks will be in the description down below as well, so feel free to check those out whenever you get the chance, and I will talk to you later.